Yo, yo, yo! What's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores of Sky. In the last episode, uh, Team Skull joined us to uh, prepare for the expedition. Nobody is happy with this. Except maybe Izzy, but who knows what she's thinking. And then we went on a mission. Uh, we caught our first... Uh, was that our first B-level outlaw? I don't remember. But anyway, uh, we were treated to a scene of uh, Team Skull over there feasting themselves... Feasting themselves, yes. Gorging themselves on the guild's food supply. You know what that means, it's time for a story mission. <clears throat> okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! Ah, you two. Your task today is to obtain stock to replenish the larder. Larder? Do you mean go get some food? Correct. We inspected the larder this morning. For some mysterious reason, the guild's food stock has dropped sharply all of a sudden. Furthermore, our entire stock of perfect apples has disappeared. That was the only item to get completely cleaned out. Perfect apples? What are those? They're very big and very delicious apples. But more than that, they're the guildmaster's favorite food. There were no perfect apples. The guildmaster would, um, the 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 guildmaster would. Uh, go on. If there were no perfect apples, what would happen to guildmaster Izzy? She would, um. It, it, yes, that's what would happen. That's why I'm begging you two to get some perfect apples. Uh, what did he just say? I didn't hear. It would drive me crazy not knowing. But oh well. Sure, we'll go get some. You can count on us. Good. Perfect apples can be found deep in apple woods. Now listen, this may seem like a simple errand, but it's a crucial job. After all, this is all about the guildmaster's... Uh, the, the, so please don't fail! Okay. Let's keep doing our best, Daniel. Whoa-ho-ho! -ho. Looks like they're going out foraging for food! That's because we feasted last night. A thankless task thanks to us. <laughs> yeah, let's mess with them. So yeah, this chapter. I have been wanting to talk about this chapter for quite a while. But let's get on with the mission first. Okay, let's see. First of all, we have a red gummy. Pretty sweet. We also have enough to buy another gummy, so uh, let's get on with that. Whoops. Yeah, that's, didn't quite mean to take out all of it, but whatever. Another shop today. The Electivire Link Shop. Yeah. So yeah, we can do linked moves now. What did I say your name was? Let me scroll up here in my document. Um, Gauss the Tutor. Sure. Alright. So yeah, not only can we link our moves here at the shop, we can uh, teach ourselves old moves that we may have overwritten. <clears throat> it's pretty nice, really. But we are not going to do that just yet, because we don't really have any moves that need remembering. <coughs> so yeah, let's uh, buy a gummy or two. Yeah. On the other hand, we could definitely, uh, if we could definitely, we definitely want to build up a stock of Reviver Seeds, so uh, I'll buy a Reviver Seed and a Geo Pebble, I guess. Alright, Reviver Seed will go into storage. Along with, uh, let's see. But, but, but we don't really need all of this.
Oh. <laughs> We've got too many Geo Pebbles now. That's pretty great. Alright, let's uh, take our uh, shiny new red gummy to the uh, cafe. Oh, actually, I need one to deposit this cash, too. Oh, whoops. Red gummy to Daniel. Delicious. Ooh, special attack up. That's good on a Charmander. Let's see. Let's see what we can recycle for a prize ticket. Mm. Yeah, I kind of forgot about these. We're gonna hold on to the Joy Seed until uh, I really feel like we need one. Life Seed I might actually take out pretty soon. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Is it a big win? Oh. It's a loss. Can't win them all, I guess. Heal seed. That's nice, I guess. Alright, anything else we can recycle? Let's see here. Whoops. Second, uh, um, excuse me while I go sort out the storage. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I went and sold those uh, equipment items I said I would sell. That got us uh, enough cash for another Reviver Seed, which is good. 
All right, let's see what I can offer up. Really do not have much of a need for uh, a whole lot of big apples. Ooh, citrus berry. Alright, now that all that recycling's out of the way, let's go on our mission. Let's see, who do I want to take with me this time? Team, let's go. Apple Woods. Oh, I forgot to take out the citrus berry and the life seed. Whatever, we'll do that in the next episode. If I remember in the next episode. This must be the way into Apple Woods. According to Mr. Paul, we need to go to the deepest part of the woods. That's where the perfect apples are supposed to be. Let's keep doing our best, Daniel. Get all these apples just ripe for the picking. Whoa! -ho -ho. Looks like they're off and running! Yeah, we'll go after them. Come on. <clears throat> so, yeah. It's, uh. Fairly certain we've seen this tile set in the, in the previous Mystery Dungeon game. Of course, being Apple Woods, uh. You have to expect there are going to be some, uh, apples lying around. Oddish is a grass poison type. And we're taking him out in one hit because Ember. Decoy orbs, uh, turn a nearby Pokemon into a substitute doll. Substitute dolls will be the first target for any other Pokemon to attack. Burmy here is a bug type. He comes in three different forms, all of which uh, have the same stats, but... Uh, female Burmies uh, evolve into different typed worm atoms uh, when they level up, depending on their form at the time they evolve. Of course, uh, Pokemon evolution is a whole other rabbit hole we do not want to get into right now. Hoppip is, I think, a grass flying type. Pretty weak, but they evolve at a very early level. Oops. Paris is a bug uh, grass type that is especially weak to fire. Like, more so than other bug grass types would be. Uh, 
I think they have a five times weakness to fire due to their ability. That makes as much sense as anything, I guess. Badu is a pure grass type. Not much to say. Uh, all the Pokemon here seem pretty weak so far. Escape Orb is your absolute lifeline. If you uh, if you feel like you're in danger, use an Escape Orb. You'll whisk, get whisked straight out of the dungeon. It'll count as a, a successful expedition, and you get to keep all your stuff. Of course, it doesn't work in every scenario. Uh, boss fights, for example, no orb will work during a boss fight. <clears throat> I don't think that's the case for outlaw fights, though. Just the uh, story bosses. Butterfree is a bug flying type. And I'm poisoned. That's uh, just wonderful. Let's see. Good thing I have this. Do not be afraid to use your items if, uh, if you are in a bad situation. This is a roguelike. Items are there to be used. Drought orbs, uh... I, have I mentioned what they did already? I don't remember. They clear out all of the uh, water and lava in a room. Allowing you to walk where it used to be, regardless of your type. It's pretty neat. But we're not really in a place where it would uh, be useful to use. Maybe if we were to go on a rescue mission again in the Drenched Bluff, we could find a use for it. <coughs> Ouch. Rude! Do I have a heal seed? I don't. I do have Blast Seeds. That's gonna have to do, I guess. And now- oh, there's the stairs. Combi is one of the weakest Pokémon ever. Especially if it's male. Is this a male Combi? Nope, it's female. Alright, let's hope we don't get poisoned again. Okay, good. That's what I like to see. Lots of bug and grass types in this forest. I mean, uh, it's about what I would expect, but I think we're gonna run out of Ember PP pretty soon. Ooh, Anorith also gained a level. Sweet. Let's see, what are, what's my peep? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, fine. Just have to go without embers for a little while, I guess. Gloom is the evolved form of Oddish, also a grass poison type. Kakuna is a pure bug type, and uh, they don't know very many moves. Use special attacks on them if you're able. Alright. We're at the ninth floor. I think Applewoods is... Ooh. I want that yellow gummy. So, uh, yeah. We will be on a hunt for a Beedrill. Beedrill is another bug flying type. The evolved form of Kakuna. They know a lot more poison... Up type moves than uh you know a lot more poison type moves than butterfree i think and poison powder was a uh, was kind of a thing but i mean poison is all about beedrill's thing i'm just mixing up my phrases here <laughs> don't mind me just want that yellow gummy oh oh yeah we need to lure you out of the water. Well, shoot. Uh, 
Anorith, can you go in the... Yes, thank you, Anorith. A white gummy, uh, that'll come in handy for Buck. Let's, uh, get back to the stairs. Oh, yeah. Hey, Buck finally leveled up! Ooh, he can learn a new move. <laughs> Dollars! <laughs> Apparently nothing gets us a lot of cash. I don't know. Uh, can kind of tell I hacked Buck into the party. <laughs> Rollout is a very, very strong move. It is uh, the first example of what is a multi-hit move in the Mystery Dungeon series. <coughs> See if we can, uh... Well, actually, these Pokemon are so weak, uh, we probably won't have time to see Buck demo it. But, uh... In addition to being a rock-type move, and thus uh, pretty powerful against certain annoying types... Ooh, ouch. Uh, get out of there. It hits multiple times, and the attack power of the move gets greater with each, with each uh, successive hit. It is absolutely a one-hit kill move for most enemies you'll be coming across. So it's very good that Buck learned it, and... And, it gets more powerful if you use Defense Curl first. Ooh. Our evasion went down. That's bad. You ate my apple! How dare you! Yeah, Bug Bite is a bug-type move that steals an, a food item from your inventory and eats it. Uh, for example, that yellow gummy I went to so much trouble to get. So yeah, uh, the, a good reason to not run out of Ember PP. Oh shoot. Exeggutor is a Grass Psychic type. I think I... Actually, no. Abram, you deal with this guy. Thank you. Alright, we could restore Buck's evasion, but the, uh, uh, let's, let's stall. We can't stall, there's a gloom. I'm going to items. Uh, the only thing with rollout is it has a kind of low accuracy. Oh yeah, if you press, uh, if you press B, you can go straight to your items. I kind of forgot about that until just now. Alright, let's stall for a little while, or cover our health a bit. I think that's pretty good. Blowback Orb, huh? <coughs> Let's see. Yeah. No, you know what? It's not a big it's not a big enough deal to worry about. Besides, he's surrounded now. And, uh, you guys are useless. If he decided to bug bite me and eat that white gummy, I would have been so rage. Yeah, I don't really rage at a lot of things, though. So maybe it was hyperbole. Ooh, fury attack. Uh... A weak move, but it is a multi-hit move. Oh, hello, Beedrill. Yes, I will take a Beedrill. But not right now.
go away. I think this is the final floor. This is the farthest you can go in Apple Woods, isn't it? According to Mr. Paul, the perfect apples should be around here somewhere. Oh, Daniel, look there! Hanging on that huge tree. Those must be perfect apples. Alright then, how should we get those perfect apples? Oh, easily done. Who said that? <laughs> what? You? <laughs> Team Skull at your service. <laughs> hey, it's Wimpy and company. What took you so long? We've been having us a picnic of perfect apples all waiting for you to show. What took you so long? What? Whoa, you took so long I stuffed myself. <laughs> They're saying they ate the perfect apples, Daniel. But there's still several left on the tree. Let's knock those creeps out and take home some perfect apples. Cho, <laughs> knock us out. That's very rude of you. I, I was even going to offer my help for your mission. Huh? You were wondering how you could get the perfect apples? Nothing could be easier. Watch. A Goom Nut fell down! Goomba King took three damage! Red Goomba took three damage. Blue Goomba took three damage. See, what did I tell you? Go on now, scoop up those perfect apples and scuttle back to the guild. Sure. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hmm? What's the matter? Aren't you going to pick them up? After I was so nice and helped you out. <laughs> You're going to pull another dirty trick, aren't you? You can't fool me again. Color me surprised. They didn't fall for it at all. Aw, oh, how boring is that? I was right! <laughs> it's a little disappointing you didn't fall for our act. But so what? What are you gonna do about it? We're gonna totally thrash you clowns. That's what we're gonna do. So what I would say if this were, uh, if this were not a video game in a cutscene. The only thing we can. We're gonna knock out your team, then we're taking the perfect apples back to the guild. Well now, aren't we feeling peppy today? When you first met, you were shaking like a leaf too. Cho. <laughs> it's true. That time I did back down. Even now I'm a little scared. But I won't lose again! I won't ever back down again! So be it. In recognition of your courage, we'll be honored to take you on fair and square. Cho. <laughs> Watch out, Daniel. They're gonna try something. Cho. Let's see if you can withstand this attack. Tox and I will use our noxious gas combo. <laughs> they knocked Sonic out too. Ugh, that was disgusting. Oh, Daniel! Are you okay, Daniel? I'm glad. Uh. Ugh! Oh, they left without me! Ugh, we both got knocked out. What an overpowering stench. The stench is still lingering. Oh, what happened to the perfect apples? Ugh, they're gone! Did those bullies eat them all? They're all gone. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. Let's go back to the guild.
What? You failed? Are you serious? Oh no, what am I gonna do? Seriously, what am I to do? There's nothing we could do. You see, top Stanky and his... Quiet! I don't want to hear any excuses. You leave me no choice. For the time being, you'll go without dinner tonight. What? But... You failed to complete an important job. Your punishment could be much more severe. I don't want to hear anything from you. You saddled me with this terrible task. I gotta report this to the guildmaster now. Upon hearing my report, she's sure to... <laughs> I will report this to the guildmaster after dinner. You two will come with me when I do so. If I had to face the guildmaster's wrath all by myself, well, that would hardly be fair. Therefore, you two will come with me. That's an order. the perfect apples, didn't you? Thank you! Uh, th there's a, a, a slight... Uh, it's awfully hard to say this, but... Huh? What's wrong? You see, uh, truth be told, these apprentices, well, they failed in their mission to bring back any perfect apples, and so, uh, to put it another way? It's okay. I understand. It's alright. Nobody wins all the time. Don't feel blue. Don't feel blue. Where are the other perfect apples? As I explained, um, they failed to get them, so, uh... In other words, uh, the perfect apples... The number of perfect apples harvested would be, a uh, Zero. Oh. Therefore, not even one perfect apple was obtained. That, that, that means Guildmaster... You'll have to make do without perfect apples for a little bit. Yep, that's what it means! <laughs> <laughs> um, Guildmaster? Guildmaster? <laughs> Whoa, she's gonna cry. <laughs> no! Yeah, <laughs> the whole place is shaking. Cover your ears. Why? Don't argue! Do it now! <laughs> Sorry to disturb you. We've come to deliver a perfect apple. <clears throat> Here you go. A genuine perfect apple. Please accept it as our token of friendship. Oh wow! You went and got it just for me? Yay! Thank you! Friends! Friends! Thank you so very, very kindly. Thanks to you, we've all been stared at catastrophe. Hey, you two! Quit dozing and show your respect and appreciation! <laughs> no, it's quite alright. After all, your guild has been very generous and hospitable to us. It's only right that we try to repay that favor in our own way. Ah, I see that you're in the most admirable of Pokémon. To be able to embark on an expedition with someone so noble as you, it'll be truly inspiring. <laughs> no, no, you will be the ones who inspire us. Truly, we look forward to our expedition. It's late now, so we'll be off to bed. Until tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, friends, friends. So, yeah, Daniel never really forgave uh, Mr. Paul or Team Skull for this incident. I mean, as minor as it was, really, in the long run. Uh, I mean, you know, Edgelord fanfic. He just kind of held on to a grudge. So, he would uh, grow rather distant from the guild in the following adventures leading up to this expedition. He would plot his revenge. He had to make sure he got on the expedition crew somehow, even if it meant just following the guild from a distance. But then, he would hit them where they least expected it. <clears throat> oh, 
<laughs> You're not thinking strategically, you two. Why do we come here in the first place? The expedition, right? Right now, the trick is for us to win the trust of Guildmaster Izzy. I get it now. But, this being a famous guild and all, I was playing great cautious at first, but it's been ridiculously easy. The Guildmaster is nothing more than a big baby. She's no big deal. Why is everyone so terrified of her? I don't know. I'm clueless. Anyway, if we find a treasure while on the expedition... We knock out the guild's crew! Then we snatch a treasure and skedaddle on out. Whoa-ho-ho! -ho. This plan is a sure thing! Heh <laughs> heh <sighs> Team Skull showed us up over and over again. It's great that Ismelda didn't blow up at us, but we didn't get to eat dinner after all. I feel horribly hungry. Sorry, I know you're hungry too, Daniel. Staying awake like this doesn't make it better. Let's go to sleep. Good night, Daniel. Let's keep at it tomorrow. Next morning. Up and out of its morning! So, yeah. Although, I can think of uh, some other things Daniel might do to get his revenge. I mean, it's not like I actually wrote this far in a story. So, uh... And I guess that is something I will talk to you guys about another time. Until then, thank you for watching. Join me later when we uh, get back to work at the guild, I guess. Bye-bye for now.